Don in London, hello. It's December the 15th, 2009. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour, or simply to be in recovery one day at a time. My addictive substance was alcohol, my behaviour, similar, addicted, relationships, work, you name it. Collecting, wanting the next right thing, wanting the next right toy, materialistic. All those things which kept me striving for perfection and looking right. And the gift these days is it's not about looking right, it's about being right or being able to feel right about my situation, my personal circumstances, and let life happen rather than to bend it to my will. So self-will got me drinking, or rather self-will encouraged me to keep on drinking because I could control it. And whenever I feel I'm in control, I am in trouble because often I am simply powerless over people, places and things and I'm powerless over alcohol and if I try drinking again life will get unmanageable so on a daily basis I'm trying to keep sober and the best way of doing that is trying not to do it on my own but the problem is society, community, family we're all taught how to be self-sufficient and not interdependent and there's a big difference between self-sufficiency and self will run right. I guess that's what it took me to in the end. The drinking. So, from being a convivial, joyful drinker from my first drink to my second drink, probably. I don't know what happened next. Well, 35 years went by, probably. And dependency occurred. And from dependency to addiction, it's not a far stretch. And once we're in the addiction, that thing which keeps on telling us we're not addicted and we can control it we are absolutely stuck because we keep on going back and doing the same old thing over and over again so these days I've learned with my moments of clarity that I need help and if I don't get help on a daily basis I can start to go backwards into a problem and then I'll, all my defects of character come out or all my character flaws fear to extremes Putting on a brave face to extremes and ego to extremes comes out. And conversely, the other is true. If I'm so self satisfied and full of ego, I can rely on courage, faith, and confidence to extremes as well. So, somewhere in the middle is the balance of living enough fear, enough, enough brave facing, enough courage, faith, and confidence to live as one can and it's a daily learning process living in the choices of now so what's helped me keep in recovery well simply family community professionals who look after my well-being as much as they can and a fellowship which helps me keep sobriety as the keystone of my living so sobriety comes first and it sounds harsh but if if i i'm not sober I'm not in my right mind and the old insanity of doing the same old thing over and over again comes back with alarming speed. So the, it is a daily, a daily encouragement to the solution of having faith, courage and confidence to keep going in the right direction. And sometimes uh, the road is not the right road and sometimes we have to go back and make a U-turn and start again. But that's okay, we just keep on going simply one day at a time and what helps me most well fellowship of AA alcoholics and others full of unique authentic people who share their experience strength and hope and there is a statement of intent about AA which is shared at the beginning of every AA meeting and I share it here just to put my mind into gear if you like it's part of my morning meditation and it goes like this Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. 
does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And I went to an AA meeting last night, and it was a newcomers meeting. And uh, part of the startup is all about sharing what are the tools of AA. Well, simply people are the tools of AA in many respects, and I don't mean that to undermine the value of people, but you know, it is the experience, strength and hope we share of recovery and the solution to living, which is so important. And in a newcomers meeting, there are suggestions shared as well, and information about the 12 steps of the action program for a person to follow and to live, putting these principles into action, how to change our attitude and behavior on a daily basis to the good. And when I can't get to meetings or I'm sharing here, I also refer to the daily reflections. And uh, for today, December the 15th, it says, doing anything to help. Offer him, the alcoholic, friendship and fellowship. Tell him that if he wants to get well, you will do anything to help. And that's anything to do to help in terms of recovery, emotional, spiritual and physical in terms of advice and support. I remember how attracted I was to, to the two men from AA who 12th step me, that is sharing the message. They said I could have what they had, with no conditions attached, that all I had to do was make my own decision to join them on the pathway to recovery. When I started convincing a newcomer to do things my way, I forgot how helpful those two men were to me in their open-minded generosity. And the gift in that is, it's so easy to think we're open-minded when we're not. And if we're trying to suggest to another person, do it my way, we're limiting choices and the ego's back. So courage, faith and confidence to share the message as it is, that there are 12 steps is important. And not to overstep, if you like, into the realms of I know best, because I don't. I don't know what is best for another person. And I get to know what is best for me in the moment of now. And that's an ongoing process. So that's what I would encourage anybody to do. And uh, uh, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking and feeling that AA is the uh, catch-all of everything, and it's not. Uh, AA is there to improve our emotional, spiritual and physical well-being. But sometimes we need outside help, and when we have med medical conditions of a mental nature or a physical nature, we need to go get the help we, we need from professionals. And even then we can be a bit doubtful about what they have to say because they're human too and they also have opinions but often they're very informed so I tend to go with what professionals say if I trust them and their, their help has been good in the past. And that's so important and uh, in as Bill sees it it's weird these things seem to hit me in the head when I need them well sometimes I need a bit of encouragement Page 286, and this is just a general thing, Mastering Resentments. We began, began to see that the world and its people had really dominated us. Under that unhappy condition, the wrongdoing of others, fancied or real, had power to c actually kill us because we could be driven back to drink through resentment. We saw that these re resentments must be mastered, but how? We could not wish them away. This was our course. We realized that people who wronged us were perhaps spiritually sick or spiritually underdeveloped might be a better way of putting it. So we ask God, or in good conscience, depending on your belief system, to help us show them the same tolerance, pity and patience that we would have cheerfully granted a sick friend in the fellowship. Today we avoid retaliation or argument. We cannot treat sick people or underdeveloped spiritually people that way. If we do, we destroy our chance of being helpful. We cannot be helpful to all people, but at least God, or in good conscience, or a conscience will show us how to take that, take a kindly and tolerant view of each and every one. And the kindly and tolerant view of each and every one means also I need to do the same to me and be humil. I need my humility, or to be able to accept how things are. So the acceptance part, the serenity prayer to God or good conscience, as you believe. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference for me is always just for today.